my channel thank you for coming back and thank you for your support if you are a returning subscriber but if you're new here hello welcome to my channel please before you leave this channel remember to subscribe and when you subscribe click on that notification bell so that you'll be the first one to be notified whenever i upload a new video you will love enjoy every content that i upload so dear friends in our today's video i am calling all black women on online dating apps searching for white men for marriage yes guys because I'm going to be responding to a comment I got from the video that I did in this channel whereby I was talking of what makes a white man marry a black woman so this lady this black woman was saying that I am making other women look evil look bad look unmarriable due to the reasons that she mentioned so i'm going to responding to her and this video will help you who is on online dating apps searching for a white man for marriage but before that guys i would kindly request you to be a positive person if you know you are a negative person watching this video please try to see positivity in everything that you come across because when you are a positive person people will fall in love with you you'll be able to overcome life's challenges life is full of ups and downs so if you are a negative person you won't be able to handle those challenges that life brings to you be positive please if you know you are a negative person because i don't know why this lady saw that video as something negative something to make other people look evil look bad look unmarriable something that wasn't my intention guys i always sit here out of love to talk to you because i wish you good in life i wish you to have a man of your dreams that right man i don't want you to be in tears i don't want you to always be down thinking that i am unlucky why i'm not finding a right man i don't want you to be played by these white men that you are looking for that is why i am always here to advise you to guide you so that you can find that right man and live happily guys because there is no need of you starting a relationship and then after a year it is a failure you start all over again it is not good for a lady or for anyone guys so guys please please i repeat try to be positive try to look on the more positive side of life so dear friends back to our today's video number one thing that she said or she mentioned is that there is no problem of a lady promising a white man to give the goodies on the first time when they meet there is no problem with that so i shouldn't make these women who are ready to give their goodies <laughs> to white men look bad look unmarriable look evil <laughs> i never said that if you give your goodies for the first time when you meet a white man then you are a bad woman then you are an evil then you are unmarriable i never said that but what i said is that don't give your goodies to these white men that comes to meet you for the first time before you know their real intentions with you what is wrong with that where is the negativity where am i making a lady look bad i'm trying to open your eyes and give you the reasons to why you shouldn't give your goodies to a white man when you first meet it's because these white men know that you are chatting to other white men online and if he comes you give him the goodies easily like that without even asking him questions what he thinks about the future what he thinks about your relationship where your relationship stands you don't ask him all that you just jump into bed with him give him the goodies easily like that you always do that to all white men that comes in your country to see you so does that give you a good image hell no it doesn't give you a good image no man will want to marry a lady who gives her goodies easily to every man <laughs> no one <laughs> so i never said that you are bad i told you why you shouldn't give the goodies at first 
when you meet this white man before you know his real intentions yes my dear beautiful ladies so stop seeing negativity in everything that you come across this is for your own good but again if you feel like you want to give your goodies it is yours not mine <laughs> <laughs> it's your goodies guys if you want to give your goodies I, I did a video here giving you the right direction if you want to give your goodies to this white man what you should do to be on the safer side I told you guys another thing also I would want to tell you is that if you are ready or if you have promised this white man a bomb set like you said then go ahead and give him that bomb sex but don't come to me after and cry say that a guy dumped you or a guy told you after having that bomb sex that he did not find that chemistry that he thought he could find when he sleeps with you <laughs> don't come crying please <laughs> i want you so if you decide to do it just do it for fun but i think as a normal lady a decent lady before you give your body to any man <laughs> it's good to know where your relationship stands is this man really interested in you does he want future with you or not it's good to know then give your body when you are sure but if you want to give your body without looking to all that it's also okay but please don't cry after and say i thought we we're girlfriend and boyfriend i thought this man would marry me i thought that and that and that then you regret no just do it and say i just had a bomb set with a cute white guy <laughs> it ends there you shouldn't cry when things don't go as you think but i will stand by my words don't give goodies to these white men before you know where your relationship stands before you know if this guy is really interested in you if he wants a serious relationship with you that will create a family reason number two that she said that i make black women look evil look bad look unbearable is because not all black women are intelligent not all black women have degrees not all black women got jobs because <laughs> there is scarcity of job in africa she said that <laughs> like i'm not an african <laughs> guys i grew up in africa i've been in africa for 28 good years <laughs> i know what it means to be an african i know what it means to be in africa to live in africa not living the luxury life in africa no <laughs> a poor life in africa living with no job i know what it means nothing is new yes i know there is scarcity of job in africa <laughs> not all black women have got degrees yes i know and that's why guys there is no day i sat here and tell you that you guys are stupid and tell you that you guys are not intelligent no day that i have done that because guys i respect you very much and my videos guys don't intend to offend anyone at all <laughs> i repeat it is out of love yes i might have experience on online dating apps i might have experience on interracial dating i might have experience on guiding and advising ladies or people about relationships but i don't know all okay so i'm not going to say that i am the top 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 no <laughs> i'm not saying that and i'm not trying to degrade black women what i'm doing guys i am empowering black women i am inspiring black women to find the right man date the right man that they are looking for guide them go the right way so when we talk about not all black women have got degrees a man can marry you with or without a job that's true but what we are talking here guys we are talking about interracial dating and that 
video was all about a white man women who are looking searching for a white man for marriage i can remember very well what i said in that video i said that white men marry women who are responsible i was simply asking you to be responsible if you are not responsible i never talked about having a degree or not having a degree yes a white man can marry you with or without a job but what i want you to know guys when you don't have a job when you are irresponsible you are going to narrow your chances of finding that white man that you are looking for yes how are you going to narrow your chances on online dating apps even due to the experience that i have ladies that i have been helping most of them have gone to school i'm not saying that they have degree but they have gone to school they have jobs so when this man finds you who is irresponsible you don't have a job and you don't want to look for a job because that is what you mean when you say there is scarcity of job in africa i know but but if you are a responsible lady you are determined to get a job you will get a job you are determined to do something in your life you will do it i even talked about doing a small business it doesn't have to be a very big business because i know how life can be in africa but a very small business when you chat to a white man and then this white man knows that you are doing a small business he will see that you are responsible but if you're just at home not doing anything every time he calls you i'm watching tv every time he calls you i'm just seated bored <laughs> <laughs> i'm just seated bored and on the other side the guy is chatting to another black african lady who is working oh this girl has got a very small business telling this guy about her business how she faces challenges doing that small business and this white man is going to choose this girl that has got a small business over this lady who is just at home not doing anything for her life guys if you're someone who has been watching my videos there is a video i did whereby i was talking about the time i was very very down i lost my job and i decided to start selling secondhand clothes on the streets walking on the streets selling these dresses going to the saloons going to the shops selling these dresses it's not that i have not gone to school i have gone to school guys still university level but at that time due to the scarcity of job in africa to tell you that i know i went to the streets to sell secondhand clothes i continued trying and trying to look for a job eventually i found a job so i stopped selling those secondhand dresses and returned to work so guys i know very well what it means to be in africa i know very well life in africa so that shouldn't be an excuse for you not being responsible you are going to hate me for this but i am going to repeat again and again please guys be responsible if you want to get married to any man of any color leave alone the white man thing you have to be responsible so that you can be respected as a woman to add on that she said that you can't get married to a white man with or without a job what i want you to know is that it's gonna be so hard for you to get married to this white man remember when i said white men don't want complicated relationships then yours is a complicated relationship because if there is a lady a lady who can get a visa very easily why choose you that is going to be almost impossible for you to get a visa to visit him in his country unless you get married to this white man without seeing his life which is a very risky thing to do you marry him in africa then come with him to europe <laughs> without seeing his life if you like it or not without seeing if this guy is living alone or living with his mother he is a mama's boy a mother controls everything so you're going to be following <laughs> yes 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 mom yes mom yes mom while you are married <laughs> 
a risky that you're going to take sometimes you might find yourself in a situation these people are going to treat you like a slave because you never got a chance to see this man's life and decide if you should continue a relationship with him or not because you were forced to marry him so that you can relocate with him in his country but if you had a job then you are going to be given a tourist visa go visit this man see his life and decide if you should marry him or not if he makes a good husband or not <laughs> <laughs> you see where the risky is guys reason number three that she mentioned why i am making black women look evil look unmarable look bad is that it is okay to ask money from these white men on online dating apps because probably that person that is asking money needs it so bad <laughs> so what i'm going to ask you my dear beautiful lady asking money from a white man or getting money from a white man that you met on online dating apps or that you want to start a relationship with or that you are in a relationship with is it the only source you can get money is it only that answer is no if you are responsible you will get money from other sources yes even if you need money badly you have to look for means to get money but not from a white man that is struggling that is saving to make sure that he brings you in his country because it is expensive guys i've gone through this process i know how much it costs i know how much it costs to move someone from africa bring her in europe or bring her in america or in australia I know guys how much it costs it's not cheap saying that if you want a serious relationship with this man if you want this white man to marry you if you want to reunite with this man in his country live life there then don't ask this man money leave the guy to save his money so that he can bring you so that you guys can be together and make a family because guys the truth is when you're chatting to a white man on online dating apps the guy likes you so much and he thinks that he can't marry you then he starts planning of how you guys can meet so that you can be together so that he can marry you his whole attention will be working towards bringing you in his country not maintaining you while you are in africa that is why when you ask him money to go to the university he won't send that is why when you ask him money to build your mother a house he won't send when you ask him money you want to buy i don't know a laptop he won't send you that is why when you ask him money to pay for your rent or pay for your bills he won't do that because his all concentration is to bring you in his country marry you you and make a family not maintaining you while you are in africa so when you start asking money for these things a guy will think that you want to remain in africa you are not interested at all joining him in his country making a family together guys i think that makes sense so dear beautiful ladies if you are searching for a white man for marriage or any man of any color please be responsible pay your own bills stop asking these white men money on online dating apps if you continue asking them money you will never find anyone to marry you that white man that you're searching for you will never find him trust me trust me trust me you will never find him and also if you go on these online dating apps on their home pages they have wrote it clearly in black and white that don't send money to women so why do you think they say so why a lot of scammers <laughs> do you want this white man that you think can be a good husband to think you are a scammer hell no so please please don't ask these white men for money even if probably you want it so bad look for other ways to get money but not from white men yes 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 an enemy of a woman is a woman 
<laughs> don't use that your favorite girl please please i love you so much and i am saying all this out of love you should know this <laughs> she also talked about chatting online and she said it's okay to do it guys i'm not here to dictate that you should do this by force what i am doing i am trying to give my own opinion what i think is right to do and it's because i have enough experience on interracial dating i have experience on online dating apps i've been there guys i know what i am talking about i've been helping ladies have found love on online dating apps following my advice and my guidance can testify to that so guys when it comes to doing online it's not good if you know you are a decent lady it's not good at all because how can you trust that man that you're not even sure if this guy will marry you and go naked for him why should you do that because doing online sex doesn't mean that the guy will marry you not at all and sometimes guys i told you most of these white men are married so they go on online dating apps they know some black african women are very desperate to get a white man so he will propose to you about doing online sex <laughs> and you'll fall in the trap but behind the scene the guy is married guys happily married he just wants to have fun on online dating apps so are you ready to be taken advantage of are you ready to be played i know you are on online dating apps because you want a serious man you want a man who will marry you you will not be able to find out if the guy is serious with you or not that is why i said online is a bad idea you shouldn't do it it's not good at all and a man who asks you to do online sex with you then you shouldn't trust that man a hundred percent because we don't know even his real intentions with you what if you do that with him he records you and then the next day you find yourself on the internet everywhere you are naked how will you feel how are you going to feel I'm trying to tell you to open your eyes. You shouldn't do online. I will repeat again and again, don't do it. Even if you think it's right, but I am telling you due to my own experience, don't do it. There is a lady who was chatting to a white man. Then this man was telling her that send me a photo of your goodies. The girl said no. Then the guy was like, other African ladies have been doing so. Then why are you scared? Why don't you want to send me the photo of your goodies? It is normal. You black African women do it. Then the guy sent a photo of the goodies of the other African lady. You see guys, <laughs> with a face. I saw that photo guys. I saw it. The face of the lady and the goodies. <laughs> of this lady so imagine how many people have seen this lady's goodies how many a lot because this guy is chatting with lots of people he will circulate that photo of goodies to everyone so that is why it is so dangerous to do it even if you love this guy please don't do it i told you guys there is a sexy way you can dress and sit on camera talk to this boyfriend of yours that you love so much to an extent of doing online sex with him there is no need to do that no need at all please dear ladies value yourselves please 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 Lastly, that she said is that it is so sad to see women setting strict standards for other women <laughs> <laughs> guys i'm not setting streets for you not strict standards not at all guys what i always say you know this channel is based on life experience experience is the best teacher guys experience has taught me so much i'm not trying to set strict standards for you but what i am telling you what i always tell you and what i will continue telling you 
is only the truth the reality i'm not going to lie to you and tell you no don't worry you ask money white men have got money they're going to send you money no that reminds me of a lady who misunderstood me but i'm glad i was able to correct her that you misunderstood me she told me but bella you said that if a man loves you should spoil you <laughs> <laughs> yes i said if a man or a white man loves you he should spoil you but you shouldn't ask this man to spoil you it doesn't make sense <laughs> this man is supposed to spoil you without being asked and that makes that man a good boyfriend a sweet boyfriend makes him a good future husband <laughs> spoiling you but don't ask him don't start asking him money and think that if he sends you money then it means that he is spoiling you not at all i told you some of these white men send you money to just blind your eyes so that you can be so sweet and calm don't ask so much questions don't stand for your right this has happened recently there is this sweet young lady that i have been helping and she was chatting to a guy and we all thought me and the lady thought that the guy was just the one but the guy was telling me mm, this is too good to be true but she also made a mistake she never told me the whole truth the whole situation of their relationship so they continued and this guy was sending money to this lady so the girl got blinded by money and never asked a lot of questions and ignored the red flags so then boom one day they were chatting the girl saw the other side of the guy the other side of the guy which was a narcissist which was a very rude guy which was a man who has mental problems yes guys <laughs> The guy was like, if I marry you and I want sex, I'm going to have sex any time of the day when I want. I'm not going to accept your no. Does that make that man normal? Not at all. Not normal. Then the guy was also like, when I marry you, I'm going to be commanding our relationship, our marriage. I'm going to be the one who has got a voice. So meaning that the girl needs to stay quiet and sweet. So she ignored all this and took the only positive side of this guy in the end. In the end, guys, after chatting for two months, thinking that the guy is the right one, the relationship ended just like that. The girl got very hurt but what she told me what she told me she's here watching she was like i got blinded with money with the promises that the guy was promising me so guys you can see these white men can use their money even if you want it so bad <laughs> they can use it to blind you and you find yourself in a very toxic relationship <laughs> so i'm not trying to set strict standards to you ladies i'm trying to tell you the truth so that you guys can be in healthy relationships can find those right white men that you are looking for so guys like i said when i started this video i said be positive see the positive side of life you have seen i have seen the positive side of this comment and tried to help you because i know exist lots of ladies who think the same as this lady who wrote this comment it is my hope this video has helped you in any way if you enjoyed this video like this video by giving it a thumbs up share it with your friends family everyone that you think will enjoy this video and learn something watch my other videos too they are so good you have got a lot of things to learn from those videos comment below what you think about this video until next time i love you so much once again you are always here in my heart ciao ciao